Happy Halloween, Smexy Suckers! Okay, so I'm just as a cop. And I have leather pants. Wait, hold on, I can get higher. I have leather pants on. Yeah, and my and my boots. But I'm not gonna show that. <laughs> there you go. Boots. And uh, this was what I wore to school. And it's pretty much hey! <laughs> so um you know, it's kinda kinda rough trying to, you know, scoot around people and stuff because I just felt so uncomfortable. Cause I don't wear stuff that like makes me Oh my gosh, this headband though. Um, I don't wear stuff for Halloween that would be considered hookerween. Um, I like creepy stuff, and that is what I'm doing for Halloween. And right now, it's just me being a hooker. <laughs> um, because it's hookerween. See? See what I did there? Do you see what I did there? But, ow, oh, there's bobby pins in this. But yes, um, I know I didn't film a video last week, and I apologize for that. Um, but you know, since everyone is doing like Halloween things, I was, you know, I was gonna, I think I'm gonna film, wow, my hair though. I think I'm just gonna film, um, me getting ready, um, for Halloween. So, I'm just gonna take this makeup off. So, yeah. I really like this makeup though. I like my hair though. Like, look at my hair though. Like, oh my gosh. I sound like Falupa. You don't know who that is, do you? No? Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Why? This little kitten. <laughs> okay, so what you need to do first for, you know, Halloween and. Scrub your makeup off. Okay? Let's... It's been forever since I've now worn makeup on this channel, and I look like crap. Like crapazoid. Like, I feel like this belongs in the... in the uh, old video diary playlist. Like, this is, like, really bad, man. Like, my contact almost fell out. I just didn't want to stare at myself, I guess. I'm just so ugly. Uh. But yes, I. So yes, I do apologize for not filming. I really do want to film. It's just you know I'm so busy with everything, the personal project and everything. I'm just like blah, blah, blah. So yeah, let's go strip. All right, one, two, three. Oops, it's the next day. I hope you guys enjoyed your Halloween. Um, but I'm going to tell you what I did with my makeup before I upload the video. Okay. So you're going to need. Uh, a family value makeup kit and you're going to need this 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 and this and this <laughs> okay so what you're going to do first is you're going to apply this it's white face paint and you're just going to apply it with you know your finger and then eventually you're going to need to do it with the brush but that's for later Apply it to only half of your face. It depends on which half of the face that you want to apply it onto, but you know, I did it onto this half of my face. No, I didn't. I did it onto this half of my face. Um, so, yes, get that white cream out of there.
Next, what you're going to do is you're going to use this black eyeliner pencil and you're going to trace out your teeth along your face and then you are going to need this brush and then you're going to use this black or this black, wait which one is black? I think they're just both, both black. But you're going to use the black and then you're going to make it darker along you know the edges and you know highlight the teeth and then you're going to go around the eye and the edges of your face. Um, So once you have traced all of your teeth and filled it in with the brush, you're going to trace out your eyebrow. Um, we did it a little higher because your eyebrow bone is like right there. Um, so once you have gone along your eyebrow, the side of your face, and down here we went along my collarbone and along my bones on here, like in my neck. Um, Once you have traced with the black, you're going to use a sponge like that. And you are going to, you know, create some shadows. So with the lines that I made along my face, well my mom, along my face, you're going to smudge those with the sponge to make to create shadows. But if you do smudge your teeth or the white areas later, after you have smudged everything that you needed to be smudged, take your white makeup cream and you're going to use either the brush, your finger, or the sponge and you're going to go along the teeth where your teeth are and along the faces and along the parts of your face where it's supposed to be white and you're going to fill that in with the white once again so that way it doesn't smear like it did before. Okay, so next, after you've completed that, this side of your face, you know, I keep doing it along this side, but once you've completed this side of your face, you're going to take your normal makeup routine. Um, I put my face powder on and smudged it with that along this side of my face. And then what I did was I I got this eyebrow thing and I used the darkest eyebrow, like this one I think, to um, make my eyebrow like pointy. So you want to make yourself look mean but not like witchy mean. So after you have done your eyebrows, next do your face makeup. So what I did was I used this palette. And I used, I would use the darkest, but I dropped it and it's empty. So I used this gray. And I went along the darkest parts of my eye, like the crease. Oh, I need to fix that. No, we're good. Um, I went along the crease and like the innards and then up here along my highlight. And then I used, uh, then I used this palette, and I used this, oh my gosh, I used this color to go along the highlights of my eye, and then if it's not dark enough, like if you cannot, if the highlights are not, like, pointed out as much, use this one. It depends on how light your face is, and because I'm so pale, I needed to use another I needed to use a different color.
So after you have done your eyes, um, you're going to use any kind of eyeliner. I use this eyeliner, which is Black Car. I get it from Hot Topic. I went along my eye. And then I use my brush, this brush, and this blush. And I just went like that along the apples of my cheeks. And I think... And then after you have done that, you put mascara on. I put this super thick lash on. Can you see that? Yeah. So I put that on. All right. So next, after you're all done, you can take your eyeliner and add a little Marilyn Monroe beauty mark. You don't have to, but I only did that because I wanted to be the, zomb the half zombified Marilyn Monroe that everyone sees. So I wanted to be her. So I put a little beauty mark on my, uh, like right here, on my lip. I put a beauty mark. Um, Next, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your wig. Um, I suggest brushing it before you put it on your head because me and my mom brushed it while it was on my head and it smudged some of my makeup that was up here and it kind of like blended the white into my hair and into the makeup that was on the normal side. So what you're going to need to do is just put it on after you have brushed it. After you have brushed it, you're going to take um, you know, a brush that's like this you know, like a normal hairbrush, and you're going to need a comb, and you're going to need hairspray. I I use big and sexy hair because, and it's spray and stay, and now it's something that you can use to, you know, you spray it, and then you can play with it a little, and then it stays just like that. So what you need to do is you need to grab a comb or a brush, and you need to spray it, and then curl it, and then. Um, it'll stay like that. Uh, next, you're going to put your costume on. hope that you enjoy your night and I hope you enjoyed my video. Have a happy Halloween or ha I hope you had a safe and happy Halloween. I love you Smithy Sucker so much. Peace out. Bye.